1979, a movie was released called The Warriors. It was a classic, the perfect mix of a good story, good characters and good action. Prime material for a video game. But it wasn't until late 2005 that we finally got what we all wanted. So, courtesy of Rockstar, here we have The Warriors, The Game. It begins with a fateful reconstruction of the opening to the film, letting you know that this isn't just some cheap knockoff, this is the real deal, man. When you're president of the biggest gang in the city, you don't have to take any shit. Ah, uh, fuck him. Yeah. Rather than just retelling the plot of the movie, this is more like the extended cut. It delves more into what makes the Warriors who they are, and gives you the details of the events leading up to that fateful day when the gangs of New York attempted to unite. Can you dig it? But let's start by answering, who are the Warriors? In the movie, they're a group of nine gang members, stranded in the middle of the Bronx with over 60,000 rival boppers, not to mention the entire New York Police Department, trying to hunt them down. In the game, you get to learn how the Warriors were formed, what their initiation procedure is, how they make their money, and you get to see how they rose in fame to become the leaders of Coney Island, taking out any competition that got in their way, from the Orphans to the Baseball Furies. I don't want to find out. We say we take off. It plays like the campaign of a Grand Theft Auto game, just without the guns or the driving. In fact, it's more like Double Dragon, because here, it's all about the fighting. From light attacks to heavy, from weapons to grappling, it's more like a full-blown battle than a street fight, with friends and foe all getting mixed up in the chaos of the combat. It's a mess of limbs, punches, and black eyes. It's not about finesse, it's about beating the shit out of your enemy. You guys better be ready for the real thing. Are we ready, war chief? We ready. But it's not always about getting into a brawl. Throughout the campaign, you'll have missions like tagging an enemy base, running for your life, or stealth missions. Although it does get the award for the blindest AI ever in a game. You ain't so tough if you gotta hide. The game feels split in two. The first part covers the events leading up to the story of the movie, with free time allowed for roaming the streets of Coney Island, completing side quests, which reward you of useful perks, to training, to flashback missions exploring the origins of each of the main warriors. And then, when it's all ready to kick off, you'll play through the entire story of the movie, hitting each of the key scenes. Everybody packed? Yeah. This is a game packed with content. They really try to give you a lot more than your usual movie tie-in game. There's the rumble mode where you can create your own gang and compete in a variety of different games, potentially with a friend. The PS4 version of the Warriors sees the game fully upgraded to 1080p, with added trophy support. But other than that, this is just the same game we enjoyed 11 years ago. Rockstar were the perfect developers to make this game. Not only do they have a history of games about gangs and violence, they also always manage to create interesting stories and memorable characters. Taking a beloved film and adding to its lore, while still remaining authentic, is always going to be tricky. You have to remain faithful for the fans, but also give something new. And with the Warriors, it's clear. Rockstar loved the franchise as much as any fan. Enjoyed the video? Then click on the A to subscribe to A's Gaming Moments and be sure to check out some more of my video game reviews.